Like, oh, that guy out there just waved to us. Little does he know. <laughs> no. right. We've got a secret. Shh, don't tell anyone. This car is driving itself. Coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. In the brand new 2014 Mercedes 250 Blue Tech Diesel, but what's really cool is the technology that's on board, and that technology allows this car to drive well virtually by itself. Actually, really by itself. <laughs> that's true. All right, here we are in stop and go traffic, and the car is basically steering and driving itself. Look at that. It's stopping as the car in front of us slows down and it's steering and it's speeding up on its own now that is pretty cool isn't it your foot is not on the accelerator nope your hands are not on the steering wheel nope and the steering wheel is turning look at that car speeds up we speed up it's keeping what would you say about 30 feet maybe 20 feet of distance between yeah them? yeah it, it's keeping a regular diff distance yeah uh, and you can see this it goes up and down you can see the speedometer go up and down here you can see the wheel turn on its own. Yep. Yeah. Wow, that is uh, technology at its best. I yep. am officially impressed. Uh, when you're going fast, it makes you hold on to the wheel. Right. But when you're going in stop and go traffic like this, it doesn't seem to care. No, that's correct. It just uh, it, it basically mimics what a driver would do in this kind of situation. And the way it does that is it uses basically radar to tell the Cameras. distance. And then dual camera stereo cameras that are mounted up here uh, that look down and uh, see what's going on ahead of you. And according to Mercedes, uh, it also looks for cars, pedestrians, bicyclists, so it knows all that. And it right. will actually apply the brake if, for instance, in stop and go traffic, somebody were to run across in front of us. Now, Joe, Mercedes won't actually go out and tell you that this car drives itself, to be fair. What they'll tell you is that this is a driver's aid. Correct. Uh, that it's meant to augment the driver and and I think that has a lot to do with the fact that um, They don't want the legal liability of having an autonomous car You know, I think some of those legal issues still haven't been worked out and I think they want to stay away from Promising that the car can drive itself, but they can but clearly the technology is available to make it Drive by itself to drive autonomously at least part of the time because at least part of the time right correct, but I at the critical time, and at a very yeah, critical time. Exit left. And of course, the navigation system will always interrupt us at a critical <laughs> time. Because <laughs> that, we're lost. <laughs> that is just the way it goes when you're doing one of these videos. I would say we've come probably 1.2 miles now, and we haven't touched anything. And uh, it's cool. It's really cool. Yeah, this is the future, ladies and gentlemen. You are watching it here at 4.05 Pacific Time, just outside of Portland, Oregon. As always, this is Roman and my new co-driver, Joe, saying thanks for watching and see you next time on the Fast Lane Car, where you won't need us because cars will be driving themselves, so yeah. there's nothing to critique anymore. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe the only thing we can critique now is how comfy the seats are. Yep. Welcome to sunny Oregon. That's right, sunny and Oregon don't always go together, but today it's spectacular. And Mercedes flew me out here to test drive this, the brand new 2014 E250 Bluetech. And in Mercedes speak, blue tech means diesel. So here's my first drive review coming up next on the Fast Lane Car.